Now question 14. So all it wants you to do on part A is substitute in 0. So just go 0 cubed plus 4 times 0. The answer is obviously 0. And then substitute 1 in. So 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 is equal to 5. Well, isn't 1 is between, that's what we were trying to get to, wasn't it? 1. So 1 is between 0 and 5. So that's enough. That's all you really need there. Now part B, it says, show that this equation can be arranged to give this over here. So let's have a little think first of all. So again, there's kind of clues in, in over here in terms of where you want to go. Well, we've got to take away x cubed there. So let's take away x cubed from both sides first. So 4x equals 1 take away x cubed. Ah, look, right? And then divide by 4. And this is all you would need to do. And then 1 take away x cubed, and it's all over 4, which is where we wanted to get to. Now part C. Now this looks, it, I always think these questions look really complicated. And, um, and actually they're probably the easiest questions to do on the paper. So we know that x, the first term, is, is 0. And then the next term, all it is, is this. So the next term is a quarter take away. Now we just it just means the previous one. So zero cubed four. And that's obviously going to equal a quarter. Now the question wants us to do this twice. So now we need to do x2. Now we probably need to get your calculator out for this bit. So what would it be? It's a quarter take away now a quarter cubed I'm, I'm going to write that as 0 0.25 0 0.25 cubed over 4 and if you work that part out that will give us um, if you just do that on your calculator it will give you 63 over 256 or if you prefer we could write it as a decimal, and that would be 0 0.24609, and then it has a bit more to it after that. 